Today is September 11th. And for those of us who were alive and aware in 2001, this changed our lives and the lives of the world forever. On that day, there were four attacks against the United States. Both towers, the Twin Towers in New York City, were attacked by terrorists flying and airplanes into the buildings. In Shanksville, Pennsylvania, there was another plane that was supposedly met for Washington, D.C., that the passengers took control of the airplane, yet it crashed. And the Pentagon itself was attacked by another plane. We can't change what happened back in 2001, but we can remember, we can learn from this, and we can be part of the healing process. For me, this day impacted not only those I know, but myself, our organization. There were people connected with us who had loved ones who died. There were people that were part of the Circle Sanctuary community that were among the first responders. There are people who are part of the Circle Sanctuary community after 9-11 re-enlisted in the U.S. military. And there are those of us, including myself, who have been in the process of aiding the healing for those in need since that time. 846 Eastern Time, the first plane hit one of the towers. I play this singing bowl for healing, for comfort, for all of those who find this day to be not only a day of remembrance, but a day to continue a mourning process. I play the singing bowl for healing, strength, comfort, support, not only for those in need, but for planet Earth.
remembrance. Healing. Renewal. May the spirit of mutual respect and collaboration that emerged in the days and weeks and months and even years that followed September 11, 2001, come to us now. May we not only send support to all of those who were particularly impacted on that day, support to all who are living with injuries from that time, support to all who lost loved ones at that time, support to the United States of America, to planet Earth, to the larger community of life of which we are all part. May we find ways to be aware of how interconnected we all are. May we find ways to work together for a more peaceful world, a world with equality, with liberty, with justice for all, for a world that is sustainable. May we take the tragedy of September 11th, 2001, the attacks that happened on that day and all the things that unfolded in the aftermath. May we transform that into a lesson that we can work together, we can heal, we can survive challenges, including this pandemic, including challenges in politics and social relations. We all are interconnected. May the divine as one, as many, as source, Be in us, be with us, guide us now on this day and in times to come. More light, more love, more freedom, more joy. So be it. Remembrance Healing So mote it be, amen, aho, namaste, salom, shalom, so mote it be. Thank you all for being part of this time of remembrance 
healing and renewal, many blessings. May we carry our connection with each other and that larger circle of nature of which we are a part into our day, into our week, into our month, into the year, into our lives. So be it.